everyone. So this is the last few cards in the deck. It has 32 cards. And I forgot to mention, but this is the guidebook. It's um, so beautiful. It looks like a little um, children's storybook. And this is the back. So as you can see, there is kind of a repeating pattern of the pigs contrasting with the blue. So here you can see there's another pig and then the rest are blue going to zoom in so you can see the cards better. It's like a story again. This is card number 28. It goes to 29 and there's a drastic change in the colors and what's happening. This is actually quite unique because at first it looks pretty but then when you go closer you start to realize that there's so much symbolism and imagery this one is actually beautiful because when you look closer um, there's the scissors at the ends of the table and the outwards or the pointy part of the scissors pointing towards the scene of action and um, if I'm not wrong it's a superstition to always put the pointy side towards someone or something so it could portray again something unusual going to happen and it also contrasts, like, you can see, here's a sword, here's a scissors, some other cards have other items, like knives and more scissors, needles. It's not focusing. You can see here, this gives me a siren, mermaid, ocean vibe because it's like this is the siren and the man is trapped in her spell or in her arms under the sea.